welcome to the tip of the week. Today's topic is polarization. A popular application for the use of a polarizer is to look at polymer orientation in a sample. And this orientation can be caused, for example, by how it was processed. So a polarizer will take the IR beam from your instrument and separate it into two components. They're gonna be orthogonal to each other. And you can go ahead and set your polarizer at zero degrees and it will pass half the beam. And this is on a dial, we're gonna dial over to 90 and it's going to pass the other part of the beam. And from this type of data, we can better understand how your sample is oriented. So how can you use these in your practice? A polarizer can be used in transmission with a specular reflection accessory and with an ATR. So in transmission, most commercial spectrometers are shipped with a slide mount. And often they will have two slots, one for your sample and one for your polarizer. Now if you're using ATR, you're going to need to mount that polarizer somehow. And most all of Pike's ATRs will accept a polarizer mount. And these are mounted right onto the side of the accessory and your polarizer can slide right in the side. Some of Pike's accessory, like the VMAX, has an integrated slot for the polarizer. If you're curious about the orientation of your polymer sample, you might want to get a polarizer and investigate. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.